My mother was a great storyteller. From Kolno to Szczucin never, never left my memory because there were very many hungry wolves coming out from both sides of the forest and we continued with a narrow road. And she lived in many different worlds, different parts of the world, during some of the most frightening and exciting times of the 20th century. The war broke out between Germany and Russia and the military might of Germany, the mechanized army quickly was invading within two or three days it was in Biawi. She kept the part of her life that was the Holocaust a secret for me until I was an adult to protect me from the horrors of it, she said. Palestine, my young brother, during the division of Poland when it was under Russia, was a very brilliant fellow, Berci, Borja, Boris in Russia, tall and handsome and marvelous and very brilliant. And he was at the University of Kharkov. They needed pilots, engineers of airplanes, and they took my brother from the gymnasium in Białystok to Kharkov under a great stipend, and he finished the school of aviation. However, his end was very tragic. He was a leader of the young resistance against the Nazis in the woods of Białystok, and in 1944, and a half practically before the liberation, there was a price on him, and they got him, and they hung him. However, I did not live long in my beloved grandfather's house because I was a little bit rebellious. My grandfather was a very religious I was man. captivated by her vivaciousness, her knowledge, the way she could talk in so many languages, English, of course, Polish, French, Russian, German, Yiddish, Hebrew, Spanish, at the drop of a hat, depending on who showed up at our home. Probably, as a matter of fact, I was the only young woman to go abroad to a university in the history of the region. Uh, pale, uh, Central European, town with a square market in the center where the Polish people would come for market days. But nevertheless, I would come for the meals and my grandfather would watch me very strictly that I grow up according to his severe code, that I eat not too much, <laughs> that I laugh not too much. I used to laugh a lot and he could not bear it. He says to grow up a mensch, which means a complete total person, you will have to. She talked about the times in her life when she was poor. She said, I told myself today you have nothing, tomorrow you will have nothing, but sometime in the future, one of these days, you'll have something. So I laughed at misfortunes, she said. Tomorrow I will have something. It was a lesson for life. together and we were very good friends. We both huddled up with furs and blankets and we only stuck out our eyes to look in amazement. And every time the wolves would come nearby, we would whimper, but the driver had torches with fire in flames.